What's up friend, my name is Ben and today I'll be showing guys and talking about how you can fix uh, Fortnite crashing on your iPhone or basically iPad. Now Fortnite has been crashing a lot on iOS 12 but there are some things that you can do to help that and stop that. So today we'll be talking about those. What I would recommend that you do first if this keeps on occurring is to just force quit the app. And what I mean by that is that if you just go into your multitasking switcher to quit out the app completely or even in some cases reinstall it. Now what that will do, it will basically wipe the previous data and uh, files on your device and it will reinstall them and that should uh, fix about 90% of the issues. Now if you're on iOS 12, I would also recommend to check for updates. So just go into general, um, settings general, software updates and open it up and make sure that you are on the latest version of iOS, uh, iOS 12, because if you're not on the latest version, there could be bugs that, ha that have not yet been fixed. And if you update to the latest version, all those bugs will most likely be fixed. What you can also consider doing is going into the App Store and making sure that you're on the latest version of Fortnite and you can do that just by searching up Fortnite and, or going into updates and making sure that basically it says open instead of update. If it says update, just click on update and make sure that you're on the latest version of Fortnite. What you can also do is go into settings, general, accessibility and turn on reduce motion. Now this will especially come in handy if you're on an older device, let's say an iPhone 6s or 6, uh, where there's more chance of lag. And what reduce motion will do, it basically turns down the hard effects that are hard on your phone, uh, the processor and battery, and it will basically prevent Fortnite from crashing. And the last thing that you can do is jump into uh, settings and click reset or basically just reboot your device or you can do a hard reset and you can do that by holding down the home button and the power button at the same time for three seconds until you see the Apple logo lighting back up. And what that will do, it will close out all the processes in the background and it will essentially um, wipe everything out, not your data, but all the previous processes that may have been interrupting with the process. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you out. If you did, definitely consider dropping this video a like and I'll see you all next time.